I am not interested in picking up crumbs of compassion thrown from the table of someone who considers himself my master. I want the full menu of rights. Desmond Toto Most of us might have come across the sarcastic saying regarding equality. All are equal, but some are more equal. Equality many a times remains as a law and the value of it remains in papers and not beyond that. A year before, we all came across a news that a black man was chopped to death by a cop in the US. Though there are isolated echoes of justice, there is a lot of people who have never tasted justice. This month, let us be acquainted with a noble and favorite personality who untiringly fought for the rights of the black people in South Africa, Archbishop Desmond Toto. Bishop Toto was born in 1931 in Clarksdrop, Transvaal. His father was a teacher and he himself was educated at Johannesburg Bantu High School. After leaving school, he trained first as a teacher at Pretoria Bantu National College and in 1954, he graduated from the University of South Africa. After three years, as a high school teacher, he began to study theology, was ordained as a priest in 1960. In 1975, he was appointed Dean of St. Mary's Cathedral in Johannesburg, the first black to hold that position. From 1976 to 1978, he was Bishop of Lestolo. And in 1978, became the first black general secretary of South African Council of Churches. He is one of South Africa's most well-known human rights activists, winning the 1984 Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts in resolving and ending apartheid. Tutu also supported the economic boycott of South Africa while constantly encouraging reconciliation between various fractions associated with apartheid. When Nelson Mandela was elected as the nation's first black president, he appointed Toto chairperson of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. In his human rights work, he formulated his objectives as a democratic and just society without racial divisions and set forth demands for its accomplishment including equal civil rights for all, a common system of education, the abolition of South Africans' passport laws and the cessation of the forced deportation. In addition to the noble Price. Tutu has been bestowed numerous awards, including the Passim in Terrace Award, the Bishop John T. Walker Distinguished Humanitarian Service Award, the Lincoln Leadership Prize, and the Gandhi Peace Prize. During his lifetime, Desmond Toto championed human rights and the equality of all people fighting untiringly, inscribing his name in the golden letters in the books of life and leaving an indepical mark in the revolution of justice. Bishop Desmond Toto was called for his eternal reward on 26 December 2021.